With nearly 100 million monthly active users, Minecraft has taken the gaming world by storm. But it's become much more than just a game. With a three-word slogan, build, explore, create, along with its unique mechanics, Minecraft is a hub for creativity, community building, and it has become a powerful tool for businesses looking to connect with their audiences in innovative ways. How? Let's find out. Minecraft was first released in 2011 and quickly became a phenomenon in the gaming world. It's simple yet engaging gameplay coupled with its ability to allow players to essentially create their own worlds made it a hit with kids and adults alike. Over the years, Minecraft has continued to evolve, adding new features and expanding its reach to new platforms. Today, Minecraft is available on almost every gaming platform from PC to consoles, mobile devices, and even virtual reality. Not that crappy Zuckerberg VR though. One of the reasons why Minecraft has been so successful is its focus on creativity. The game allows players to build almost anything they can imagine from simple structures to elaborate cities and even functioning machines. This has led to a thriving community of Minecraft players who share their creations online, inspiring others to create and innovate as well. Don't worry, you can also kill each other. While Minecraft was originally designed as a game, it's also become a powerful platform for businesses looking to connect with their audiences at a deeper level. Companies have used Minecraft to create unique marketing campaigns, build brand awareness, and even sell products to an audience of young, majority male gamers. For example, cholesterol-slinging fast food giant McDonald's launched a promotion where customers could download a custom Minecraft map complete with its own McDonald's. Build, explore, gorge. The world was designed to promote the company's new Happy Meal toys with players able to collect virtual versions of those toys in the game. The promotion was generally a huge success with millions of downloads worldwide. Another really interesting Minecraft-based marketing campaign was launched by Danish Geodata Agency. The agency created a one-for-one -one scale model of Denmark in Minecraft, which allowed players to explore the country's geography and landmarks. This campaign was designed to promote Denmark as a tourist destination. That model was downloaded over 220,000 times and it generated significant media coverage. Denmark, come burn witches in effigy with us. Another interesting example is UK-based clothing company Primark, which created a virtual Primark store in the Minecraft world. The store was a huge hit and many players shared their screenshots of their virtual shopping trips on social media doubling the impact of this campaign. Now you too can buy a virtual onesie that will fall apart after one use. Aside from marketing, Minecraft is also being used as a tool for team building and education. The game's open world and collaborative mechanics make it ideal for companies and schools that want to create exercises for creative problem solving. Deloitte, the multinational consulting company, used Minecraft to create a virtual campus for their graduate recruitment program. The company created a virtual world where candidates could explore the campus, interact with each other, and solve puzzles together. They used the game as a way to assess the candidate's teamwork and see how they would fare in a collaborative environment, creating the first ever scenario in video games where your life is actually on the line. In 2020, Microsoft, the owners of Minecraft, used the game to host a virtual team building event for over 150 employees across different locations. The event called Minecraft Build Challenge involved teams working together to build structures within a set time limit. The challenge helped employees to collaborate and communicate effectively while also having fun in a virtual environment. Now you can hang out with those annoying coworkers in video games too. Video game developer Ubisoft created a custom Minecraft server for their employees to build and explore together. The server was used as a platform for employees to collaborate on various projects, like recreating their office space or building a virtual amusement park. You know, important stuff. Minecraft's not just being used by businesses. Schools and universities are also using it to teach teamwork, problem solving, and communication skills to their students. And they're taking it a step further, using the game to teach students about math, science, and history. Minecraft's open world sandbox is designed to allow students to explore and learn in really fun and engaging ways. Because what kids really love about video games is all the math. In Australia, a teacher used Minecraft to teach her students about sustainability. The students built a virtual sustainable community which included renewable energy resources and eco-friendly buildings. This teacher's goal was to help her students understand the importance of sustainable living and environmental conservation. In the United States, a high school math teacher used Minecraft to teach geometry. The students created 3D shapes and structures using Minecraft blocks to help them to visualize geometric concepts in more interactive ways. Where were these cool ass teachers back in the 1990s when I was dying of dysentery? In the United Kingdom, a school used Minecraft to teach programming. They set up a Minecraft server and used a plugin called Computercraft to teach their students how to code. The students learned how to program turtles to perform various tasks such as mining and building. Weird. In Denmark, a school used Minecraft to teach medieval history. The students built virtual medieval cities, complete with castles, markets, and churches. They also recreated famous battles and events from medieval periods, which helped them to better understand the historical context of the time. Danes are really into Minecraft, apparently. Minecraft has become much more than just a game. It's become a platform for creativity, for community, and even commerce. 
Businesses use the game to connect with their audiences in innovative ways, and Minecraft's focus on community building has made it an ideal platform for both businesses and schools that want to build a deeper connection with their own customers, employees, and students. As Minecraft continues to evolve and expand, it's likely that we'll see even more businesses using the platform in the future for marketing, branding, and e-commerce. And more schools will probably figure out cool, creative ways to teach their students. Who knows, maybe we have a VR Minecraft gym class coming in the future. There, now you're an expert. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe below. I release a new video explaining how different companies do business every week, so hit that notification bell below too. Cool, thanks.